Alright, we made it here to World Gym for the self-defense class. It's always good to know a little bit of self-defense when you're out there running. Uh, Aikido basically is really a soft self-defense form. This is a self-defense class and we use Aikido to do Self-defense, everything's legal. We used to call it dirty self-defense, it's not. It's <laughs> called true self-defense. Anything that will allow you to get away from an attacker, you win no trophy, no medal in any type of fight. If you're going to be in any type of fight, you're probably going to get hurt. But the main part of self-defense is you can get away from the individual. I am not a, a, a woman who has ever had any interest in martial arts or anything like that. I happened to stumble on this class. I think I saw Jody out one time and and he uh, was telling me that as a single woman you should be in that class. And I was like, ah. I kind of blew him off. And then, and then a girlfriend of mine who knows Tom uh, talked me into coming into the class and trying it. And I came in the very first class and we were just doing some wrist locks and it just sort of hit me. Oh my gosh, I, I need to be in here. Being aware of your surroundings is very important. Just putting the phone away and looking around, you know, even off in a distance, all around, uh, looking at the cars that are next to you. Uh, all of those things are, are very, very helpful. I got car jacked mm. while I'm in this class. Wow. It, uh, mm -hmm. I, I always thought I was always aware of my surroundings, but the guy was hidden that well. And, uh, and let me tell you, when somebody comes and puts a gun at your head, it's all the things about, oh, I did this, or I did that. And this goes all out the window, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So the question is, if you got carjacked again, did you have an opportunity any time during that carjack and then you could have got away? Uh, at the very beginning, yes, if I'd have had this class, I could have got away. So the, the second part of the mental is trusting your gut feeling. Sometimes you just, get a sense about something and that first part being aware of your surroundings it it, 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 it kind of ties into that because um, if you are attuned to your surroundings then you'll get a sense about your surroundings you'll get it get a sense about do you, you know do you feel anything happening even if you don't see it and if you're aware of your surroundings you can also that ties into the third one which is not to panic if you perceive somebody getting a little too close or in your personal space, you have time to think and you don't have to panic. That's something really big for me because I'm a panicker. The first one that he uh, pushed on me was not being afraid to yell, stop. That was really difficult for me because I'd be like, stop. And he's like, no, 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 they're not going to respond to that. Yeah. If you put your hand up and say, stop, sometimes that person is not expecting to hear that from you, so it startles them and might stop a potential attack on you. And it also alerts others around you that might be in the area to, hey, something's going on over here, and then you have help. The other thing, and he brings this up a lot, is yell and scream rape. Rape is a, is a buzzword. It's a big word. When, when people hear rape, they pay attention. The physical is the last part, 99% is verbal and mental that one percent is where they actually do something they had it on the news about two weeks ago where this lady was being abducted she's saying stop stop help 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 and then you hear it in the background real soft voice it's a guy's voice sorry i can't help you they throw in the car and she leaves so the one percent where you have no other choice but to do something physically that's why you're here tonight we're going to show you how to physically get away from somebody where you called you said stop you said rape you've done everything and then the last person that could possibly help you say sorry. And so the 1% is why we're here tonight. Use this X. When someone's coming at us, we have to get off the X. There's four basic steps. The first one is an X. See how I'm creating an X on the ground? By going pushing and pulling, I'm going forward and backwards. We're gonna go ahead and do that at this time. So if you'll kind of grab an X or get behind somebody, will pop out. So I grab her here and she just spins. Because she's doing the up end of arm, she's able to pop out and be able to evade. So I grab Randy right here. She's gonna basically put me down. She can just raise her hand up. And this is called teacher, teacher, raise your hand. So I do a choke on her and I'm choking her and she breaks. And she breaks and now she comes, there it is. Right there. there you go. We were just running. Oh, Boom. Good. good job, Sylvia. Run, Sylvia, run. You're supposed to run. <laughs> All right, so that was the self-defense class. It was a good learning lesson. Uh, 
I wouldn't know what to do if I were attacked with now. At least I have a couple moves that I know. It was just the beginner's class that taught us a few moves of uh, what to do if we were attacked. So good class. They had a lot of stories on you know how they were attacked, all that crazy stuff that happened to them. And uh, that's one of the reasons that everybody should take a self-defense class. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next one. Peace out.